and also all right so as you can see the man that finished this book that finished writing this book his name was Yahweh and also his grandfather his grandfather his name was Yahweh now it says Jesus but when you go down here it says for the same things uttered in Hebrew or spoken in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them all right so when you say Jesus it doesn't have the same power as when you say Yahweh Shai when you say Yahweh Shai that has power that has force okay that has power in it so as you can see the name Yahweh Shai was a common name in Israel okay and I'm going through this to prove that this is the name of the Messiah. His name is not Jesus, but his name is Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, I'm going to read this summary in the book of Joshua. Okay. This summary for the book of Joshua. That's at the beginning of my Bible. Okay. At the beginning of that book of Joshua. Now, I'm reading this from this Bible here. Holy Bible, King James Version, Giant Joshua. Print Edition, Words of Yahweh Shai in Red, as most Bibles have his words in red, Concordance. All right, so it has a concordance in it too. All right, this is at the beginning of the book of Joshua. Now it says, the book of Joshua. Joshua, the first of the 12 historical books, Joshua to Esther, forges a link between the Pentateuch and the remainder of Israel's history. Now the Pentateuch is talking about the first five books of Moses. All right. And it says through three major military campaigns involving more than 30 enemy armies, the people of Israel learn a crucial lesson under Joshua's capable leadership. Victory comes through faith in the most high and obedience to his word rather than through military might or numerical superiority. The title of this book is appropriately named after its central figure, Joshua. His original name is Hosea Salvation, Numbers 13 and 8. But Moses evidently changes it to Yehoshua. All right. And they say Yahweh is salvation. It's not what that's not what the name means. And you're going to see that Hosea in the Hebrew is Hawashai. And Yehoshua in the Hebrew is Yahweh which means he is salvation or he is the deliverer. It doesn't mean Yahweh is salvation. All right. It doesn't even mean Yahweh is salvation because that's what the name Isaiah in the Hebrew means. Yeshia means Yahweh is salvation. All right. But I'm going to go to Numbers 13 and 8. Okay. This is Numbers 13 and 8. All right, I'm in the Hebrew Torah. Okay. The Holy Bible, Hebrew Torah. Okay, now this is Numbers 13 and 8. Now it's telling you about the different men that Moses sent to spy out and search out the land of Canaan, which later on became known as the land of Israel. All right, this is Numbers 13 and 8. Of the tribe of Ephraim, Oshea, the son of Nun, or Hosea. All right, now let's see how you say Hosea in the Hebrew, Numbers 13 and 8. All right, right here, Hawashai. Hawashai, okay? Hawashai, which means salvation or deliverer, okay? Now, it says how Moses changed his name from Hosea or from Hawashai to Yehoshua. Now, let's read that. Numbers 13 and 16. These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out the land. And Moses called Hosea, the son of Nun, Yehoshua. So let's read that. Numbers 13 and 16. All right. Now, it's right here. Well, it says Masha or Moses. 
La Hawasha, or uh, called Hosea, Bun Nawan, son of Nun, Yahawasha. They say Yehoshua, but it's Yahawasha. So there you have it. All right. So his name got changed. His name got changed from Hosea or Hawasha. It's they say La Hawasha for, you know, uh, called Hosea. Moses changed his name from Hawasha to Yahawasha. Okay. There you have it. And it says the same thing in the Tanakh. All right. This is this is the Tanakh, which stands for the law, the, the prophets and the writings. Numbers 13, and 8. OK. To get it for you. All right. Number eight. All right. This is eight over here. And it says it right here. It says how he was an Ephraimite. You know, of the tribe of Ephraim, it says a parium. How was shy? How was shy? Now, uh, verse 16, okay. La how was shy, or called how was shy? Yeah, how was shy? Bun, now one, yeah, how was shy? All right, so that's it, man. All right, his name was changed from how was shy. To Yahweh All right, it, it was changed from deliverer or salvation to he is he is the deliverer or he is salvation. Okay, which is which is the same name for the Messiah, Yahweh All right, all right. Back in the summary for the book of Joshua. All right, now I left off right here. It says he is also called Yeshua, a shortened form of Yehoshua. Now, when you read in the Hebrew, Yeshua is Yahshua. So they're saying that Yahshua is a shortened form of Yahweh. All right. That's why when you read in the, the New Testament for, for the name Jesus in a lot of places, it's going to say Yahshua. You know, the, the way people say it in Yiddish is Yeshua. That's why in the movie, The Passion of the Christ, they were calling the Lord Yeshua. All right. Well, you know, they had him played by Jim Caviezel, which he's a Jake. But we know that the Lord looks like a so-called black man. But they were calling him in that movie Yeshua. In the Hebrew, it's Yahshua. But it says how that's a shortened form of Yehoshua or Yahweh Yahshua is a shortened form of Yahweh. But just like I read in Sirach 16 and 25, we declare his knowledge exactly. So you don't say a shortened form of his name. You say his whole name. All right. And his whole name is Yahweh, not Yahshua. OK. Yahweh, that's his name. This is the Hebrew equivalent. Of the Greek name Aesus Jesus. All right, so it's letting you know, it's letting you know that Yahweh Yahweh is the Hebrew equivalent of the Greek name Aesus Jesus. All right, so Yahweh is the Hebrew equivalent of the Greek name Jesus. All right, the Lord's name is not Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai. All right. And you don't say Yahshua Y because that's a shortened form of the name. All right. Even in uh, in certain parts of the Old Testament, Joshua is called Yahshua Y. And I'm going to show that right now. OK, they call him Yahshua Y. But his name was changed to Yahweh Shai. OK. Let's see here. Numbers 14 and 30. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 30. All right. It says, doubtless ye shall not come into the land, 
concerning which I swear to you, I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. All right, so Numbers 14 and 30. All right. Now, it says, uh, all right, so this is uh, uh, Caleb, Kalab, Bun, y Yapana. So Caleb, Caleb, the son of uh, Jephunneh, Wa Yashawai. All right. Why Yahshua? The way they say it is Yeshua. So even Joshua is called Yeshua or Yahshua in certain scriptures. But his name was changed to, to uh, Yahushua. His name was changed to Yahushua. All right, not Yahshua.